as the sun peeked over the horizon. People from all over Arizona made their way to Boyce Thompson Arboretum to attend a going away party, an annual event thrown for this guy and about 200 of his relatives. This is the time of year when the Arboretum's resident turkey vultures head to their winter quarters in Mexico. The event, Bye Bye Buzzard, is a celebration of nature's roadside cleanup crew. But, you may ask, why celebrate a bird with such a trashy reputation? We should, we should celebrate vultures for the same reason we should celebrate any other organism on the planet. And that is that each individual organism, whether it's a plant or an animal, has its own unique life's history, its own unique planetary history, its own unique set of interactions with other organisms and other environments. And so each one is, um, tells its own unique story. And as we get to learn the story of any given organism, we absolutely are impelled to embrace and inquire about other organisms in their, um, in their place on the planet. Thanks to the Arizona Fish and Game Department, some cousins show up every year but they're not just any bird. Birds that you're gonna normally see while you're either in the Arboretum, um, out while you're hiking, gives you an opportunity to actually get up close to them, see, see them up close and personal, versus seeing them from a distance at a 50 yards away while they're flying away from you. Oh my God, did you see that? So, you, see you, could see, you could see his nose, through his nose. Yeah. You could see through his nose. The vultures, they are technically not buzzards, start their day early, warming themselves in the sun, and like some humans, stretching and cleaning, finally moving off slowly to work. The crowd on hand recognizes the role these huge birds play. So the vultures, uh, first of all, the fact that they're, that they're here is something that I think we should respect, I respect, and I know many people do. Uh, but then intellectually, learning about what they do in the, in the world is also rewarding uh, and interesting. Uh, their role as a scavenger helps in the recycling of nutrients and minerals and so forth uh, in, in our system. I mean, and the, the, the cruising of the highways or the, the soaring over the barren deserts, uh, you know, they are taking animals that have now ceased to live and they're processing material into their own systems and then on into the next cycle. So they, they participate in the recycling of minerals, I mean of, of nutrients in the ecosystem. Eventually, the birds give the public what they came for. With wings that can stretch up to six feet, they step into the air, one by one, slowly at first, then in groups. The flock leaves the cliff sides riding the updrafts in search of a hearty breakfast. They'll get a pretty high altitude to try to find food. According to Tomoff, there is more here than bird watching. But I think mostly uh, the reverence that, that I and many people have for life is something that I think is probably is as important now as it ever has been, if not more important. Uh, because we're more and more aware of the impact that we as human beings are having on the planet and on its systems. Uh, we are part of those systems, and although we may not always want to acknowledge that, we are influenced by them. So we may be um, significantly affecting the long-term uh, future and well-being of ourselves by not paying attention to and by not being aware of and respecting other organisms and their roles in the world. So in the end, they need us, and more importantly, we need them. There's a welcome back party scheduled for the spring, and you are invited. Check out the events calendar at arboretum.ag.arizona.edu.